and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing um, kind of my everyday go-to makeup routine. <laughs> I guess that's what you would call it. Um, so that's why I'm coming on here completely barefaced. This makeup look is for the days when I am just running errands and not really doing much and I don't want to do a full glam of makeup. Um, I really love this makeup look because it is very simple and because I live in Georgia where it's hot 95% of the year, I don't want to do a full face of makeup and then feel like that makeup is melting off throughout the day. So I really like this look because it is kind of full coverage, but it's also lightweight. Um, I must apologize in this video if I am coughing a little bit or if my voice sounds a little hoarse. I'm still getting over the last bits of a cold. Um, so that's great. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're just going to pin the hair back. So typically I will use my Kanan Austin um, mattifying primer, but for today's video I'm going to be going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick. I actually have not used this in a very long time, so I thought I would just break out something that I haven't used in a while. So I'm going to be placing this where my pores are, so up against my nose, on my nose. A little bit on my chin and then on my forehead and then I'm going to kind of pat it out or push it in with my fingers and my hands are clean always if you touch your face always always make sure your hands are clean So because my skin is a little bit dry, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer and I'm just going to put that kind of on the high points of my face, so the tops of my cheekbones. I'm going to put some on my forehead and then I'm going to take whatever is left and just pat it into the rest of my face. This gives me a little bit of glow and it moisturizes my skin as well and it smells really good like really good and then the last product that we are going to put on our face to prep our base is our NYX color correcting primer in green to cover up just a little bit of this redness oh that made a weird sound <laughs> So now that we have our skin prepped, we are going to be going in with our IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. This is in the shade Transforming Neutral Beige. And we are going to dot this all over our face. So to blend that all out, I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Stippling Brush. Um, and I'm going to blend this out and then I'm going to go over it with my Beauty Sponge. Just to press out any lines that I have from my brush and just make it look a little bit more flawless. Now I'm going to go over it with my beauty sponge. Mm -hmm. 
There are some parts where I feel like I need just a little bit more coverage. So I'm going to build that coverage up a little bit. So we just got done, well, I just got done um, watching You on Netflix. Um, it's like everyone's going on about it right now. And I have to say, if you haven't watched it, I do suggest watching it. It's actually really good. Um, and if you don't know when it is, you need to look it up. I was shocked at the ending. Shocked. So next I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and just dot this a little bit underneath my eyes to kind of cover up those bags and then I'm also going to use this to conceal any spots that I feel need it. So let's do a little bit right here. And I'm just, the spots that need it, I'm just barely barely ever so slightly tapping them. I'm really glad that it is January because now all of the shows that um, me and Robert watch are finally starting to come back. Ugh. It's, I'm so glad. <laughs> so to set my under eyes, I'm going to go in with the RCMA No Color Powder. And ever so slightly set these puppies. I am going to be setting my entire face with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. <sighs> That's a mouthful. Um, this is in the shade Light. And I'm just going to take my big old fluffy brush from eco tools and like I said use this powder to set my face my face is definitely in need of a very hydrating face mask or facial This cold weather is getting to me. <laughs> so I am going to um, set this with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Just a little light layer. And we're going to let that dry. And while that is drying, we're going to move on to brows, um, which I'm going to do off camera because they take a little bit. <laughs> so I'll be back. Okay, so now that we have our brows done, we are going to go in with a little bit of bronzer. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Light Snow, in the shade Natural. Um, and we are going to find, there it is, our bronzing brush. And we are going to bronze ever so lightly. I am very very fair <laughs> right now so I need to tan badly very badly but we're gonna do this just add a little bit of color to our skin and then for blush we're going to go in the um, Tarte and Aspen over palette and we're gonna take the blush shade in here called Made You Blush, which that is what it looks like. And then we're going to blend that together with our dual fiber brush.
And then we're also going to take the highlight shade in that same palette called Pure Soul to highlight our face. And we're going to smother ourselves in highlight. on our nose, Cupid's bow, and our chin. And then we're also going to do our brow bone. Oh my gosh. This brush did not get clean, and now I have purple eyeshadow on my brow bone. Mm, that's just wonderful. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is why you always, always, always clean your brushes. After every, at least just spot clean them after every use. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, I can't believe I did that. Mm. I'm going to tight line my line, my tight line upper eye, whatever you call it, with this Marc Jacobs black eyeliner. Okay, and now we're gonna curl our lashes. And for today's mascara, we're gonna go in with a mixture of the Benefit Bad Gal Bang and then the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I totally have a hair on my nose. I can feel it, but I can't find it. It's bugging me. Pro tip, if you ever get any mascara on your eyelid or anything like that, wait for it to dry, so about 30 seconds, and then take a dry Q-tip and you can wipe it off and it should just come right off. No matter how careful I try to be, I always get mascara on my eyelids. To top off my look, I'm going to do my lips. I'm gonna go in with my um, Buxom Plumping Lip Gloss in White Russian. Okay, and that completes today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you end up getting or using any of these products or if you have used them in the past, but, but, <laughs> or if you have used them in the past, please let me know and if you guys enjoy them, remember to always spot clean your brushes after <laughs> you use them on like purple eyeshadow or bright pink eyeshadow or else you might get it somewhere where you don't want it to be. <laughs> so I'm going to sign off and go run my errands for today. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.